All right, I have this huge bag of plush and I got this at a garage sale and everything. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Was a quarter. So I bought almost every single plush. And right here on the top, I'm gonna pull these out and show you guys. I'm gonna put them right here in my light box. This should do pretty well. It is a Fisher Price 1992 Puffalump. And this is a little quacker duck. Isn't he cute? He does have an issue on his foot. Maybe I'll try to run him through the wash or spot clean that, I'm not sure. Um, but these puffalumps, they do range. They can do pretty good. Okay, so I bought these over the summer and they've been sitting in my garage. So I really need to get them listed and I was going to work on it tonight and I was like, these are just too good not to do a video on. And a lot of them, I don't know anything about. Like this one, like who is this guy? Um, it looks like it has, it was probably belonged to a little girl and she put her hair bow around its tail. <laughs> Okay, so this one is called Hasbro Pawtucket. It's a dinosaur, some sort of dinosaur. And I, so this goes up or down. Do the paws flip? Oh, look, look here. It's got claws. I can feel the claws. I can feel the claws. How funny is that? So here are the paws. Same thing with the hands. Oh my goodness. All right, so we'll have to check that out. Look at the teeth. Oh, oh, look, look, look. I'm fascinated by this. So it looks like the this flips up too. And then so it can be blue or purple. So we'll have to see who that guy is. All right, we've got another, I got, uh, uh, what do you call it? A trash bag stuck to my ring. Okay, so this is a Cabbage Patch Kid. I bet this um, little accessory falls off all the time. Uh, look how cute it is. Oh, it's got some hair up there. Look at the hair. Never seen one like this. This looks like it unzips. What's under there? What is going on? I don't understand really what's going on. I'll have to look into that. But yeah, anybody ever seen that one? Her face looks really great. Look how cute they are. <laughs> okay, we have a black puppy dog. I mean, for a quarter. Uh, I'm pretty much bought all of them, almost all of them. This is a Gund, and he's called Diggity. So right there, I can look it up by that. This one here is Toys for Target. And I know that um, the Rebel reseller who t sells tons and tons of plush says that, like, the toys from, uh, the plush from Walgreens and different things like that, they, um can do pretty good. So she likes picking those up. All right, you guys. So remember, I just told you that I had a Target plush in my lot. And I told you that the Rebel reseller likes Walmart and Walgreens and stuff like that. Look at this pig. It definitely check your comps when you see um, that brand. I was going to see if I can show you the tag. Well, right there. Can't it's not very big. Here we go. Right there, Circo. This sold for $22.45. I feel like I pass by those all the time. This one here is a Gund, and this is Diggity, but it's brown. Should I sell them together? Are they like, is that a lab maybe? Black lab and a chocolate lab? They're so cute. I might sell them together. I don't remember this, but it was in the bag. So I probably got it at the same sale. This one is made by, Sh I think it's, I always said Schley, but I think it's Schleich. And it's 2014. And this one is a really, really good looking dinosaur. So he might be worth some money. We'll have to look him up. And I can't remember what I paid for it. But if the plush was a quarter, it was probably pretty close to that. And then I got this little guy. And he, I believe, yeah, is Jurassic Park or Jurassic World. Look at his eye. It's pretty cool, right? So we'll look him up. 
most of this is plush. I forgot those were even in here. Look at him. Ah, he's so cute. He's a bunny. Um, this one is made by Prestige Toys. Cute. Uh, what is that? Ewok. It's an Ewok. A 1991 Ewok. How cute. I'm kind of thinking. Oh, Walt Disney World. I'm loving that. Look how cute it is. That's got to be worth something for a quarter. Okay. This is a, I don't even remember what some of these are because it was probably a month or two ago. Like I said, I'm really bad about just throwing things in my garage. Dakin. And this is 1990, and it actually, um, it, it plays music. I'm not going to pull it all the way, but you pull it down, and it hangs, and it's like a, a little music box. Okay, this is cool. Anybody guess what it is? It is a puppet. This is so stinking cool. A quarter. Can you believe it? They just wanted the stuff gone. But it's a puppet. You put your hand in here, and... I can't do it very good with my, there we go. And then you can open the mouth, but it is, uh, it's definitely vintage. Play School 1991. It's pretty big. Do you love it? I love it. I'm excited about that one. Okay, we got, oh boy, another bunny. These are so cute. I love these plush because they're all vintage. They were all super cheap and they're all in pretty good condition. This is Russ Hesses, made exclusively for Hesses. Russ Berry. I don't know. Looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit of yellowing. She's pretty big. Okay. Oh, look at the little lamb. Oh, oh, it's so soft. It is, um, Wolo by Russ Berry. Super, super cute. So another little lamb. Snuffleupagus! Okay, so I do great with Snuffleupagus toys. Um, I, I'll try to pop up a little screen share of a toy, a little toy that I recently sold. Just a great bread and butter. I always pick it up whenever I find the snuffy toys. This needs glued back on his little eyebrow. But let's see. This is Applause, The Muppets, no date, but definitely vintage and definitely adorable. Let's see what else we got in here. We have this, and I feel like I either have one of these listed or I've sold one of these before, but this is also gunned. And then here is a rabbit that you pull, and it's the music box, just like that other one. Um, but this one is called the Lullaby Club. But yeah, it's super cute and soft and fuzzy. And it's holding a little flower. Huh, darling, right? We have Pluto. Pluto. He has a leash. Or what is... Oh, it's a, is it a purse? You can carry him like a purse. But it's not really a purse. Because... It doesn't open anywhere, but if you like want to just walk around with him like he's a purse, I guess you can do that. I kind of love it. Can you guys see me rocking the, the plush? Walt Disney World. Um, no date, but Pluto. That's fun. Okay. Is that the same bunny as the other one? Nope. This is a Lou Rankin. Lou Rankin I've done pretty good with. Um, but it's Dakin Lou Rankin. The eyes look kind of like orange. All right, so that's that. We're getting to the bottom. We are getting to the bottom. Okay, what is this? Look how cute he is. He's jointed. He has on this like handmade diaper. It's got some hair on it, but look at the old uh, safety pen. Huh? Cute. Let's see if we can find a tush tag. The Vermont teddy bear, 1984. Pretty cute, right? All right, <laughs> look at them all. <laughs> all right, I think there's, 
another little toy down there. I hear it rustling around. Okay, so this one is Rover by Russ Berry. And it is a puppy dog. How cute is that? A little puppy dog. And let's see what the other toy is. It's another dinosaur. All right, this one is... What is that? Is that Jurassic World also? I can't really tell. Hmm. Let's see. What's it saying here? Uni and Amblin. Oh, I'll have to look that one up. Mattel 2017. I don't know. So his little mouth opens. His arms move. So yeah, I like little dinosaurs and I love plush. So 25 cents each, probably for every single item in here. I mean, it's just a no brainer. I know I'm gonna make money. How much money? I don't know, you guys saw all the screenshots, but at this point I haven't listed them yet, but I'm gonna list them now, pop up those screenshots for you guys and we're gonna all learn what these plush are valued at. And I find it quite, quite often, usually at the bins, but there are these big, Hot belly plush, I tend to find this brown bear, a koala bear, but they do come in varying sizes. This was the larger one that was 16 inch, dated 1979, and it sold on Best Offer for $40. $40, say what? This is a gun. All right, so I am listing the plush I just showed you guys, and I am watching the Rebel reseller, and I will tell you she is amazing and sells so much plush definitely go and check out her YouTube channel. Okay, so one thing I wanted to mention here at the end of the video is plush. Plush in general, I feel like it's long tail. When I buy plush, I don't expect it to sell quickly. I did have one item that sold quickly, but these items have not been up very long, but that one sold in less than a week. So um, that puppy dog was just something that probably someone was looking for. But you will find with plush that a lot of times, they have sentimental value for people like somebody has lost it or it they had it as a kid or their kid had it and lost it and they just want to find the item so a lot of times i will list low dollar plush just because that right person may need it and i may have it so do expect plush to be long tail don't buy it expecting it to be like a home run it's going to sell within a week that's not typical of plush in my opinion. What did you think about those plush? Pretty fun finds for a quarter each, right? It's hard to pass up 25 cent plush. What I loved about it is most of them were vintage and a lot of them I have never seen or heard of. So super educational for me. I hope it was educational for you as well. Thank you for being here. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Check out The Rebel Reseller and check out the links down below of other things I use for my business. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, go check out this video. It is called This Is My Bolo. This is a collab video that I put together with other channels and they share a bolo with you. And since we've been talking about Rebel, the Rebel reseller on YouTube during this video, I'm gonna show you hers from the last video we did. So I will link that down below. And here's her video. Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I am doing This Is My Bolo. I start all of my listings on eBay, but I do cross list to several platforms, Etsy is being one, and this item sold on Etsy for me. This is a Sanrio Peckle Duck Nylon Plush 13 inch from 1995 and it sold for $47.45. Sanrio is a brand that you really should be looking out for, but especially when it's just not Hello Kitty, it's other characters. Um, and I actually had to use Google Lens to figure out who this was, but also plush that is made of this nylon or parachute material. Definitely check your comps. Again, I want to thank Courtney for all that she does for those of us um, who are trying to make YouTube videos, I really appreciate everything you've done for me. Thanks. Bye. Thanks for watching.